Continuing with sequencer, I have to say that it's very similar to manual control, but it gives you more flexibility if you'd like to change, if you like, uh, for example, to test some other things not with manual control. So in sequencer, you actually create a set of sequences, which can be basically more than 20 sequences or even more if you want, and you follow what's going on with your protection. Also here, you can see waveform viewer, since it didn't insert any values here, we don't see that, but it shows us how the values change of current and voltage, and that would be the sequencer. Now, something which is very interesting is definitely distance protection. So distance protection here is accompanied with a big library. Library holds more than 55 relays, and when it comes to distance protection, you can, of course, for example, open and import a certain Rio file. So let's take this one and you can see how it's important. You can also import X Rio files. That depends on what file do you have. Tests we support, TDMS supports our click and test where you just click and the DRTS executes a test. You can see the results here, for example, pass. Or we can also use the sequence, which is very similar to click and test. We just click a few times and then press start in order to simulate, in this case, this result. So yes, we will simulate and now we get all the results. After the sequence, we have the verification of RX characteristic where you can set up the starting angle, stopping angle. Let's say that it will be 270 and with a step angle of 15 degrees, you can here test the whole characteristic and you can decide which zones would you like to test. Also, in some basic tests, we have verification of blinders. So verification of blinders would be verification of these borders, and we also have verification of these borders. So you can change the borders or the, or the blinders. Automatic time zone is a standard test where you set up the initial impedance and the end impedance together with the step and you define the angle, which is the angle of the overhead line usually. You press OK, and now in this case we can also simulate the result for this. So we'll be able to see how the RTS would be testing an overcut, I'm sorry, a distance relay for zone 1, 2, 4, 5, and outside. Once this is done, we can save the results. We first say store all tests and we press yes. Just to explain that we also have the advanced function, power swing test, very important, inter trip using two devices, outer recloser test, developing fault test, switch on to fault test, fuse failure test, general starter test for some older relays, weak in-feed test, sequence editor, multiple, co multiple context test, and stress test. Now, when we have results, we can print them. We can say file, for example, print. And here we, if necessary, can change the logo. And if not, we will stick with the one we have and just print out the results. The results can be printed out in many forms. So, with the press of this button, I can choose whether I want to print it in a rich text file, PDF, CSV, Excel, XLX, doc, rich text file again, XML, etc. So if I want to print it in PDF on desktop, I need to give it a name, AS, and with save, this will be printed on desktop. We can take a look now and here. We have our file. So in the report you can nicely see, of course right now we don't have a substation and the line information because we did not put this in the header, but here we have the settings of our zone and relays and here we would have the full results. If you taste, test few phases, for each phase the result will be grouped separately, also for each test the results are grouped separately. So this would be our report. The other way how I can save this 
result is instead of just printing it out, I can save save in TDMS. And if I save in TDMS, then it will allow me to choose one of the structures I created previously. So let's use, for example, the KE network. And if I save it to this relay with the name AS, that's KE in SS1 relays, save, we'll be able to go now and see this result. So in the network tree, it was, if I'm not mistaken, a KA substation. And here you can see the AS. The good thing about this is that right now you can click the right click. You can print this as we did before, or you can execute it, which means that every time you save a test, you save also the parameters, how you obtain those results and you save the results. So every time you come each year to do the same test, to test the same relay, you can do the same test actually, and you just press execute test and it will open the same application with the same testing points. You will just see that they're all yellow right now because they haven't been done. So this would be the distance protection and we'll continue later with differential protection.